In this lesson, we're going to take a look at adding whole numbers together. So first, let's take a look at 36 plus 152. We're going to use a method here called vertical addition. And in vertical addition, what we're going to do is we're just going to write one of the numbers first. And it really doesn't matter which, but I tend to like to put the number that has more digits down first. And then I'm going to write the other number beneath it. Now when we do that, we need to be really careful that the place values line up. So in other words, the 3 is in the tens place of 36, so I need to put that directly under the digit that's in the tens place of 152. The 6 is in the ones place of 36, so I'm going to put it directly underneath of the ones place from 152. So we line them up just like that. And what we do is we simply add straight down. So I'm going to add 2 and 6, which of course gives me 8. I'm going to add 5 and 3, which of course gives me 8. And then I have nothing here in the hundreds column for 36, so it's really just 1 plus 0 is 1. So what we get here is that 36 plus 152 equals 188. Now this process always works. Um, what's really kind of happening here is again you can think of money. Um, the ones place can maybe represent one dollar bills, the tens place can represent ten dollar bills, and of course the hundreds represents one hundred dollar bills. So if you have two one dollar bills plus six one dollar bills you have eight one dollar bills. 5 tens plus 3 tens is going to give you 8 tens. Okay, so if you have 8 $10 bills plus 8 $1 bills, you have what? $88. And then if on top of that you add one more $100 bill, well, you just up that to 188. So we're really just um, adding up place values straight down, and that's going to allow us to figure out the sum of larger numbers like this. Moving over to this next example. One thing that's nice here is that the two numbers have the same number of digits, so it's easy to remember to line everything up. And again, it doesn't matter what you put on top, what you put on bottom. And we'll start the same process we did in the previous problem. However, we run into a snag right away here. We add 8 and 5, and when you add 8 plus 5, you get 13. But we only have space for one single digit underneath of the ones place. And so we got to think about what to do here. Now, again, thinking about money can be helpful. If a cashier, say, handed you back $13 all in ones, you might not be too happy with that, right? I know I wouldn't be. I'd probably ask that cashier, hey, instead of giving me 13 $1 bills, could you give me a $10 bill and three ones? And that's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to put three down here to indicate we have three $1 bills still, but then we're going to take that those 10 $1 bills and turn them into one $10 bill. So I am carrying the tens place of this number that I got from adding 8 and 5, taking the tens place and carrying it over to the next column. And then I go ahead and add all the digits in this column, including the digit I carried over. So I have 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 7 is 13 again. And so I'm going to put that 3 here. So for 13, so 3 in the ones place, carry the tens place over to the next column. Now 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 2 is 6, so that's nice. We're back to just having a single digit when we add up everything in this column. And so there's no carrying necessary for the fourth column. Now I can add 1 and 4 and get 5. So our answer here, when I want to add these, is 5,633.